Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the TB and J podcast. With me today is my co-host Trey Brittingham. Yeah, Jeff, and to across from me is Jeff Ackerman. Thank you. Trying Thank to come you. in with high energy, Chris Carroll. How you doing, buddy? You want to talk about what you just pulled there? I was trying to come in with high energy, Chris. That's not how you do high energy. Or this is in... how you do high energy. How are you, everybody? Just, night, uh... And we're also here with D. Yeah, baby. That we're just here. Like you were Here's the theme song. Guys, we watched chapter two of the book of Boba Fett. Boo. It's also a new year. That. It's also a new year, 2022. We're recording on January 6th. Happy Insurrection Anniversary <laughs> Day, everybody. Happy I- Insurrection, everybody. <laughs> also, yesterday was the anniversary of the birth of Chris. Yeah, yep. that, I guess that's there, too. His, his name day was yesterday. Thank, thank mm-hmm. you for telling everybody on the internet when exactly my birthday is. Exactly. I didn't say so how old you, were, you are, so Mr. We know 36 his, years his old. First and last name, his birthday. Social security That's, number. Th- yes. Yeah, so, so we're going to put that in the description for this episode. Um, you can find my fingerprints in the website. Listen, thank you. Listen, yeah, listen, that works. listen, listen, five, high or low. <laughs> first number. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just higher. Let's just come on. My um, laugh blew out the levels a little so, bit. Sorry, audience. So, uh, guys, uh, 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 thumbs up, thumbs down. Boba Fett or Booba Fett? Oh. Because <laughs> he's older and a little overweight, so he's Booba Fett. Hey, oh. Big Booba. No, no, that was my, my the, instead yeah, of thumbs up, thumbs down, is it, is it Booba oh, is Fett it or Boob Boba Fett? Boba Fett. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to give this one a Boba no, Fett. No, it's Boba Fett. I'm going to give this one a Boba Fett. I'm going first because... I said so. Deal. Or we can edit around this. And make I it go around last. This. One, that two, like three. Mm. So guys, should yeah, we, but do, for you? Chris. we do thumbs up, thumbs up? <laughs> oh, it's definitely a Boba Fett. Yeah, it's a big old thumbs up. Troy, how do you feel about it? I'm, I'm a big old Boba Fett. Big old thumbs up. I'm Ooh, just you're translating a Boba Fett. A Boba Ooh. Fett. For our Dragon Ball Z fans. <laughs> I'm a big old Boba Fett as well. Big old thumbs up. I was in suspense. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually think we should call this a Boba Fett now. A Boba Fett? <laughs> Boba Fett. Dragon Sub Boba Fett. Fett. Um, it is Tatooine. There's a, there's a crossover that needs to happen. Where's Sub Boba in He's all this? He's very dead. <laughs> is he really? Yes. I don't know. Man. I don't was think he, his race lives all were, that long. Were they after Trunks? Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go back to Dragon Ball. Oh, oh. wait. I don't know what happened. Okay. Uh, okay. I thought you meant like swim trunks. <laughs> That's also where I thought no, of it. What, what, it why, did, why did you guys like this? Uh, I, so the, the, I'm going to go into things I don't like, I guess. Uh, the, the only thing I <laughs> yeah, did, that's what I, asked. I didn't like was, was sort of the, the different time spans of where we got new stuff and old flashback stuff. But so do you not I, like the flashing back no, and forth? No, I, I do. I just thought there was a lot it, of time it on was one a story. Lot. It was yeah. a lot. Yeah, they're, um, but they're this focused, was basically they're one flashback. a lot on the past, and I think as the series goes on, it's probably going to yeah. switch around. Yeah, and, oh, it'll and definitely that's, that's why this is like a minor thing. Mm. But uh, I love the uh, Tusken Raider stuff. The Tusken Raider yeah. stuff is all yeah. good. Um, the uh, uh, I I loved the uh, the fucking. Uh, I literally out loud alone in my room when the when the Wookiee gladiator dude shows up. I was oh like, "Oh gosh. shit!" Oh yeah. my gosh! So 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 <laughs> th- th- this is, is he actual- named? Yes, this no, is no, this, this is an not actual yet, character. But he is he is a thing. He's a big thing apparently. Oh yes, in the comics, uh, he's known as uh, Black Kersantan. BC. Okay, I think I've heard you say that name before. No, we're gonna say BC <laughs> for a big cock. Very Black big Kersantan. Uh, okay, I'll, you say your thing. I'll say my thing. Uh, okay, I, no, I, I believe in college people actually Christ. call him Black K. Black K, yeah. Oh, it's a K? Is, it, is it Chrysanthemum with a K? BK. Yes, is it, it's, it's, it's BK. like K R R R S A N. BK is way better. BK, BK yeah. Have uh, it your way. Burger King. Yeah, have it your way. We went with the same Dude, joke. He, he goes looked to the BK awesome. Lounge. That was. I didn't That's even know this was a real character. I was just like, a fucking. Big ass Wookiee, yeah, <laughs> dude, like, a big ass Wookiee with such facial like emotion, gladi- it was insane. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like bounty hunter, clear, clearly bounty hunter, right? And that I, he's a bounty hunter, like he's yes, one clearly. of the bounty hunters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and, and I don't, I, Troy, I'm sure, or somebody's gonna give some background here of of what this guy is. 
BK. He, but the this he's apparently one of Jabba's old uh, uh, bounty hunters, like Boba, and they apparently have had history. Like they, yeah, I I I have never heard of this dude, but um, uh, uh, we should expect to see him in the Kenobi series. Ooh. Yeah, this is a big thing: is that he has a big storyline with Kenobi, and that apparently in between. New Hope and uh, uh, Force, and, Awakens. And, Force Awakens. No, no, uh, New the, Hope the, and Empire. Empire. And, this and series Empire. that shall not be named. I think it's. I think it's New Hope and Empire. Between New Hope and Empire, it's just the last. Vader movie. asks Jabba for two bounty hunters to do a mission, mm-hmm. and like that's where Boba knows him from. And like these are Boba's kids, right? The twins. Like I know we're gonna get into this, but like it, the uh, uh, it's uh, Jabba the Hutt's cousins. And the, those oh. two cousins are brother and sister. They're known as the twins. Yeah. So th- that he's with them is like uh, th- he is so fucking badass looking, and I'm just like I'm looking at a picture sh- of him on a shit. Could Wikipedia this guy from kick the, the shit episode. out of Chewbacca? Like so, his name is uh, very very foreign. It's K R R S A N T A N. Kersantan. Um, yeah, I said that already. Yeah, I know you did. But uh, he did have a couple run-ins with Obi Wan Kenobi before the events of uh, Book of Boba Fett. It seems like. Well, I mean, he's dead during Book yeah. of Boba Fett. Is it? No, who's dead during Book o- of Boba? Kenobi. Kenobi is dead. Kenobi. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Obi Wan's super extra dead at this point. He uh, he also formally worked for Jabba before turning uh, before uh, getting employed by uh, Jabba's cousins, the twins. And he's also he worked for Darth Vader. At one is point. like an absolute. Well, that's what we're saying. He's like he 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 kind of. You know, exports. Yeah, when, he, when Darth he, Vader. He, hired, what is it called when you when you go for uh, like, uh, extra outside of the union or <laughs> third party party contracting? No, no contract. Um, he gets like a private contractor to to you know with Jabba to get these black two bounty hunters. Black like them. black water. Am I right, everybody? Thank you, thank you so no, much. Where's the, the last the, That's... No, do the crickets. There you go. Uh, <laughs> cricket yourself. Uh, <laughs> no, but this he looks. There was there was nothing in the scene. This is one of my favorite things about both these series, Mando and, and this, is just like, what did you not think of yet? What did you... And, and granted, obviously this has been a character, and mm-hmm. this is probably why Star Wars is so very popular with mm-hmm. the groups that have read the comics, read have read the books, all the, all the legend stuff. But, like, to see it in, in screen is amazing. And to see it for the first time, I, I, I love it. To just be like, I'm not looking at some lore that's like ancient years old for me this is like the first time someone said to me what if there was a bounty hunter wookie like what if there was not just a lanky tall man what if, as, what if he as, didn't have as, as a wookie what if he was an actual fucking like like because i never i never saw what if, what if he was like pablo escobar <laughs> <laughs> escobar <laughs> No, he because he's he's a Wookie. Oh, it was a joke. Yeah, and, yeah. We and also because of the bear that got really high on cocaine, and he's a bear. And became... doesn't he have hippos or something? That's right. Is that him? <laughs> so a bunch I, of... I, was, I was specifically referring to a, a bear that snorted like thirty-four kilos of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, which I, is I, an actual story, Uncle and Steve? became. The most frightening apex predator but, on the planet. No, continent. like Mex- Mexico has like a what? bunch of. I don't know if it was him, but there's a this bunch a, of like. This is a thing. Th- I know, but what I'm saying is a thing too. There's a bunch of hippopotamus in Mexico now that are just fucking super high on drugs all the time and just fucking kill people. And they can't. It's because some drug lord ga- put him there and uh, nobody can get rid of them. So have you been listening to Breitbart a lot? Like, no, 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 no. In no. Mexico, they just got, <laughs> they just got the, uh, the, the, the they're, they're, they got Buffalo. They're doing cocaine. And they work for Joe Biden. <laughs> and they all work for Biden. I think one of them swallowed Hunter Biden's laptop. Oh, no. He swallowed his laptop in a cocaine binge. Welcome, I was there. Welcome, welcome and he to destroyed the January- Hillary's server, so now we can't get the emails. Welcome to the welcome January back to the sex Sleaze episode. Welcome Magano experience. <laughs> Happy insurrection, everybody. <laughs> yeah, right, guys. Uh, All right, so so doing the recap. Let's, let's do uh, it. The, 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 as far as recap goes, we open up with Boba Fett uh, interrogating the uh, uh, assassin that was captured in the last episode. What the, what the fuck was their order called? Order of the Nightwind. Nightwind. Or, order of the Nightwind. It is the yeah. name of a ship, apparently, or something. In the, in in it, that's the only thing that Nightwind has, has ever been. This is a brand new organization. Jeff's looking at me right. incredulously. I, I was looking at my phone incredulously, not you. And then actually. you stared at me. Like I you, lo- you locked eyes for I... like far too long. Somebody sent him a text saying that you worked for Joe Byron. <laughs> Joe Byron. Byron? <laughs> Yo, Joe Byron. <laughs> Joe Byron. 
Um, no, so uh, they interrogate the guy. They find out Let's that go, he, Byron. he says the mayor sent me, and then they go interrogate the mayor, and the mayor is very, very calm about everything, and he's just like, I have no reason to kill you. Why would you come to me? Can I, can I also mention how much I love the, the way this series goes is Boba Fett's like, yeah, I'm the most badass dude in Star Wars. I'm just going to roll up here and be badass. And literally nobody takes him seriously. <laughs> like, nobody yeah. ever has any urgency. <laughs> they're like, we didn't watch. Everybody, everybody, everybody like, heard we how didn't... he got landed in that Starlight like, pit. And they're, they're just like, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're like, we didn't watch Mandalorian season two. <laughs> <laughs> also, to Aren't the... are the guy who fell in the Jeff hole? Jeff last year. Thank you. To the credit of all of Mos Espa, though, this guy, who used to be a big bounty hunter, disappears for... However mm-hmm. many years it's been, shows up and murders the entire also, uh, literally, population. And I'm, I'm wondering if they know or if they believe that it's Boba Fett. That's it's the other thing. They That's might the not believe it's I'm actually the Boba because Fett. Because they also had some lanky-ass motherfucking mm. uh, uh, cowboy in the armor for the last yep. couple yeah, but of years. Yeah, a hot cowboy. Now, was that, was that here? No. Was that, no, he was in a so different town. He was not in the same town. He was on a different desert planet. No, it's no, still no, no. Tatooine. Same, same Tatooine. Okay. It's just it, a different town. It, it was, town. It was town. a different town. town. So it, it was it, Moss something. So surely. All moss something. I, I do feel Except like. Anchorhead. Anchorhead's so, not a Moss. So while that would have been a good explanation this episode, I feel like it's not a good explanation ne- next episode. If they if they start to go like, oh, well, we had heard some rando in, in another town was wearing Boba Fett armor. Like he and we just assumed he accidentally you were gets him. credit for we killing the We heard something dragon. about a rando and a mando. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, a yeah. it, 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 there's there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know yet as the audience. Like Boba Fett's reputation is either gone or tarnished in the years he's been absent since the end of Episode Six, where he fell into the Rancor pit, and we don't know exactly in how that Sarlacc happened. Pit. Sarlacc pit. Thank you. Excuse me. Um, they used so, the Rancor pit in this episode. It was great. Yeah, I, it was I actually I, I actually really like the way they did the Rancor pit because there's mm-hmm. there was a solid part of me where I was just like, is did it, they replace the like, Rancor? Like, is, is are there they going to do a new Rancor? Like there was a part of me was just like, oh, it's empty, and then there was a solid half a second where it's like, but what if it's not? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's just anything in there? And this is what I mean is like I mean, a that's a thing where I'm it's like, true. oh, if it's a Rancor. Like, or whatever they would have done if they showed something there would have, I feel like, been a disappointment. Mm-hmm. Whereas Absolutely. I didn't think about a badass Wookiee at all. Right. And this is what I love is to be like, like, what else am I not fucking thinking of as like an amazing thing that could be in the Star Wars universe? It feels like I love when Zabarax. they do that. A mm-hmm. baby Yoda? Oh my gosh! Why didn't I think? Like, that's, this is what I love. Like, a bad, like, and, and I, when I say a badass Wookiee, okay. I mean like, I mean the man that played Chewbacca never struck me as a badass. And the actor that is playing him is the same actor that played the Predator. <laughs> yeah, and is the same awesome. actor that played something uh, in, a, in a series called Misfits of Science in the middle of the eighties, where there was a character called Johnny who shot lasers and wore a leather jacket, and. And, and Courtney that's Cox, who, you decided who had to tele- base your entire identity off. And of. a large, very tall black man who was a smart scientist who could sh- who was not good at basketball. This was his. Oh, okay. In the eighties. Yeah. In the eighties, and everybody everybody thought because he was so tall and he was black that he could be that he was the greatest that he would be a great and he was like no I'm a smart scientist and he created a formula that made him shrink. To the size of a Ken doll, not microscopic. The size of a Ken doll. So like Ant Man, but like and kind without of a clothes. little more useless. It was actually a like fairly down to earth for the time for the eighties. Like like sci fi show at Mr. Hell of an Science. asterisk it has 12, for the eighties. Yeah, I mean like there was a lot of coke going on in the eighties, and and it, it lasted like thirteen episodes. It's ridiculous. But that actor is the same guy that plays this, and he is a tall, lanky black man. He also played Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. Oh shit! Like he's, a, he's got you. <laughs> Predator, Harry and the Hendersons, Chuba. Like this uh, is the same what, dude. What's, what's his name? Because whenever I was trying to look up the actor's name and couldn't remember or couldn't find it. And and, and if I'm wrong on this, sue me. But like th- that, that it's the same. But like that type of oh, that. I'll, 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 I'll sure, I'm goals. sure it's not Chewbacca, and I've messed this up the entire time. But whatever. But the thing is, is Peter like, Mayhew. They have. Yeah. I may actually be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> oh um, my god! The point being that it doesn't matter. Chewbacca has never seemed 
intimidating to me. And they've always like said he was. And I'm like, he just looks like a hairy dude that's like a big teddy well, bear. Well, he also and has to. That dude has, scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, he has, he has <laughs> that Chewbacca Wookie is has to, absolutely jacked. Chewbacca has to toe the line of like being kind of tough, but also being a friend. Uh, and this guy is just like, I have no friends. I've killed all my friends. <laughs> This, yeah, he, he did tell me that, and he, he has no say friends, only working relationships. You're wrong about Peter. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. Well, what about the guy, what about the guy who played Predator? Uh, y- you do that. We'll talk. It, it turns out D just wanted to talk about this show from the '80s. I did want to do that, but I did honestly think that it was the same guy. Kevin Peter Hall was Kevin the Peter Hall. Predator. You've heard that name before, Kevin Peter Hall. No, I, I haven't look, heard your look, name. That's oh, true. You're, you're just D I'm to me. old D, okay? <laughs> it says it on my birth certificate. The Prophecy, uh, uh, ER, Night Court, Dukes of Hazard, Misfits of Science, uh, Predator, Harry and the Hendersons, Big Top Pee Wee. Harry Predator, and the Hendersons Predator is, is some Bigfoot representation for this episode. Predator 2. He stops in 1991. Did he die? <laughs> Yes, oh he God. did. Final film role in 1991. That's a long time ago, guys. <laughs> no, no. 1999, 1991 isn't that long ago. It Don't worry is. about it. You're, 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 I was, you're super young. I was 10. <laughs> this is 30 years ago. I know. I wasn't alive yet. But um, but um, I've heard of this 1991 you speak <laughs> of. But... Uh, there were gushers all about. <laughs> but but the other Ooh, the other gushers. thing the I other thing the last with... time I've seen a gushers. Ah, uh, you don't have a kid. <laughs> That's uh, true. Or, or work in a convenience store. Yes. That's also true. But the 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 other thing I was saying with um like nobody taking them seriously and you you're listing off all the reasons people might not take them seriously. It's also could just because every single person in Tatooine could and will kill you. That's fair. So they're like, I mean, ah, this it, guy, he's got armor and rest rockets. He doesn't even have an a entourage carrying him in with the drums. Like He's just got two pig men. Gamorreans. I love those. And they're I love always the shirtless. But they're, that's that's what I'm saying. Another, they're another character that haven't said anything yet, and I'm like, I love you too. One of them is yeah. a UFC fighter. The other one looks exactly like him, but apparently is not one. Uh, <laughs> but that but was my are, second point it's when Jake it and Logan came Paul. to. Uh, oh <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Pigs. Can we get them killed next episode? <laughs> my 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 points about Boba Fett. The reason that nobody takes him seriously in Mos Espa is because, like, a he shows up out of nowhere with no explanation as to where he's been when the entire rebellion has said he's dead. Because I'm sure Han Solo bragged about that shit for years. And now and he just walks back in. I lived, bitch. He walks back in saying, "I lived, bitch," in shiny armor, and he's got this right hand man that no one's ever seen before, and then two Gamorrean guards, and that's it. He has no posse. He does not act like the Huts. He doesn't have anybody carrying him around. He doesn't have an air of power to him because he insists on being Boba Fett and not which, putting himself on a pedestal. Us, which I think, brings I think us to the reason. Needs, I think he just needs to fly around a bit. Which, which, mm-hmm. which by the way, is my only a gross display of is my of power. is my yeah. only in hindsight <laughs> issue with Did that the have first to be in episodes. The microphone? Yeah, which is my only insight, like 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 in hindsight issue with the first episode is that. They surround him with shields. He has a jetpack. He does nothing with that jetpack. He doesn't fly away. He shoots a rocket at the shield. And if you had told me very briefly that since the, since the, 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 uh, uh, what did he get eaten by? Sarlacc. The Sarlacc. He has been hesitant to use his jetpack. And if he hadn't, he didn't use it in Mandalorian, did he? I don't know. I don't don't remember. I think he does. So it could be he, a thing that he's time, hesitant to use it. The only time you're, like, I remember him using it was to shoot the two the ships tr- in the Yeah, the transports. It is the yeah. jetpack that kind of fucks up that gets him in the Sarlacc pit. So right. I could maybe see him being a little like hesitant, but you'd have to tell that or, story. Or if they're they're surrounded by the guards, he doesn't want to uh, leave Fennec by herself. Yeah, fuck and before shit. he can formulate a plan, <laughs> the Gamorreans come by and give him a hand and get fair him out en- of there. Fair enough, fine. Like, fine. I, I, but I, he I, shot I, a rocket at a dude before he did that. <laughs> Guy, ob- yeah. he has obviously not heard of splash damage. <laughs> so, so either way. Uh, by the way, that 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 same uh, rocket that that exploded on the shield in front of him and did nothing else uh, also evaporated a man, <laughs> <laughs> like, disintegrated a man. I don't know the uh, the pressure. Either way, um, 
this episode uh, uh, got into very little of the current timeline, in, in, in honesty. Mm-hmm. Right. But most of it is this background, and and uh, you hinted at it earlier, Troy. I think the the Tuscan Raider backstory stuff is like this is another like jacked Wookie to me. Mm-hmm. Like jacked Wookie is my new shorthand for like awesome thing in Star Wars that I hadn't thought of before, but should have. That it's, it's so by shorthand, it needs a shorthand, right? Like jacked Wookie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's jacked Wookie. J Dub J Dubs. Well, that, that's the whole thing. Is I feel like a lot of the stuff with this and Mandalorian is it's a lot of like servicing the fans without doing fan service. It's not just like and look, it's again, this character again, Troy. That sounds way too sexual. Like, Sorry, <laughs> Bo- 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 doesn't show up with a lightsaber. Like, it's not what I was it's going like for. It's like servicing them, but like they want to. It's not. <laughs> yeah, you ask Star Wars, ask consent, but John like Favreau, it's consent. really. <laughs> Consensual fan service. <laughs> CFS, CFS, which is a J Dubs. Uh, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll work on it. I'll, I'll, I'll figure CFS. something else. Consensual fan service is key. I'm too ace. Speaking of fan service, did you guys see the uh, New Hope Easter egg in the uh, in the biker bar scene? Uh, in the biker oh, bar. Oh yes, yes, so, uh, yes. I did hear about this. The, when those bikers are like terrorizing the civilians, and they're beating up that one guy, and his girl is there. They're Luke's buddies. The guy's name is Fixer. The girl's name is Cammy. They are Luke Skywalker's friends when he lived on Tatooine. Cutscene. Uh, they, they were both in a deleted scene where he actually goes to Tashi Station. I, I, I to get do power remember powers. that. I just didn't remember them that much. Yeah, they they were in the deleted scene that uh, we all watched as kids. I, actors, so, which makes me no, no, they'd be no, way no, older. No, I really no. didn't think that they would be reoccurring or anything but I, but now that that, that I, I realized or i found out that that was the case i'm like oh they're great little guys to come back mm-hmm. like they're little like i could totally see them in the next scene being on you know boba's side i'm also wondering because of the type of like uh uh dudes those three guys were if uh, they're the same uh species as this dude who this pirate that's in the clone wars and stuff like hondo Hell yeah! Uh, and I was, I'm wondering, I'm less like lazy name. We, I'm like, are we gonna get, are we gonna get some oh, some Hondo my. Onaka in in live action? Oh my can god! We get if, a, can if we get a Hondo live action? Hondo joins. It's Boba the, Syndicate. It's the perfect Boba Fett character. He would never join Boba Fett. He'd just he, be a, he'd, he'd be team there. up. Yeah, sure. That would be a so, J. I'm interrupting because uh, D had brought up earlier the two guys that play the Gamorrean guards, one of which is Frank Trigg, who's a very successful uh, MMA fighter, mm-hmm. and he looks fucking amazing. He lo- His body yeah, looks not like it nearly, was sculpted by angels. Not nearly as, as chubs or as, as, green, as they make him as look. chubs. The other guy, uh, Colin Himes, he is The Rock's stunt double in like all oh, of his shit. movies. Oh, wow. He's actually the Heim. Like, this this guy is fucking... The Hyman. The these, Rock and the Hyman. The two dudes who play the Gamorrean guards are fucking giant hunks of men. They're built like brick walls. And these guys are playing the yeah. Gamorrean guards. Like, I, it, I I would not want to pick a fight with they're either like, of these motherfuckers. They're like, hey, tough guy, how do you feel about a non-speaking role? You're, <laughs> you're going to be my pig. Oh, I'm a stunt double. That's perfect. <laughs> Let me no, put a mask these, on. I love that they did this. I said this last episode. That like That, like, yeah, take him out of the dumb rubber suits and... We yeah, have the, we have dudes this big now. <laughs> yep. I don't think we had dudes that big in the early eighties. No, everybody was on too much coke. Yeah. Now they're on steroids. Um, yeah. <laughs> now they're, you, you, now they're man, on, you can't maintain muscle mass while on so coke. So wait, so wait, are these Gamorreans on Alpha Brain though? <laughs> oh, no, 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 are they no, doing no, no. Alpha Brain? They're bro? on death sticks. Yo, some bro philosophy here. If Joe Rogan was in Star Wars, he'd be listen, a Gamorrean. Listen, I would, I would be he'd a Gamorrean. He'd be a Gamorrean who talks and I has a would podcast. Be loyal but to, the thing, I would be loyal basic. to what's in charge. It's just common sense, bro. <laughs> bro philosophy. Unless they wanted me to get the fucking vax. Listen, they're Ivermectin, <laughs> www.com, is... <laughs> anyway. Ivermectin, www.com. <laughs> It's not just pan- it's not just panther paste, man. It's not just for panthers. Listen, the the the, the word audience is, to clue the you in before, Joe, before the podcast, the we had this whole Joe. bit <laughs> where Sleeve Magano was Joe Rogan in Star Wars. Wait, we doesn't did? matter. Did you guys know Tamora Morrison is Boba Fett? Whoa, that's awesome. Uh, no, who wow. is Tamora wow. Morrison? Wow. Yo, he is going Boba ham Fett. on this. I love Who's the Boba fact Fett? that this actor. 
is here to do this is be totally into it like totally into it he first of all he got way in shape since last season oh yeah i haven't seen a transformation this much since mark paul gossler season season one of the reboot of saved by the bell to season two he's the equivalent of of a knight uh he he's from new zealand and he has a new zealand order of merit which is their version of knighthood it sounds way less cool to have who cares the, what is it called? So, wait, 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 wait. It's he, called the uh, New Zealand do, Order. Do we of give him the, the title order of, sir? of merit? Do we give him the title of sir? The O. This is important M. information, Jeff. Is it Sarah? I need to know if I need to call him Sir tomorrow, Morrison. You do not. <sighs> you you can call him Lord. You can call him any bald guy from Fast and Furious. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Uh, He's all no, about it family. Doesn't matter. He loves family and crime. Uh, and cars. And, and he was fucking Tom Curry and Aquaman. Why did nobody tell me that? Why I would have watched Tom, Aquaman. I would never watch Aquaman the, again. You say Tom the Curry first just thirty you minutes. Think of Tim Curry. Yeah, he's, I, he's I don't, uh, no Aquaman's one... dad. Oh, he is Aquaman's dad. I totally forgot. Why is, that that Aquaman, why is Aquaman's dad called Tom Curry? Why, that's his name. why is an incredibly white character named after an Indian dish? <laughs> Anyway, so back to the show. Uh, there's not a whole lot that happens in present day. Uh, we meet the twins who are cousins of Jabba, and they are and like twins. And they have some fucking like declaration that says that they're taking over the 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 empire. My dad said that it, I get Tatooine. It is yeah, it's, very exciting that they mention Hutta. Yes, mm-hmm. the, they're delving into like the the backstory between the huts and like all the shit that they do uh, behind uh, the scenes. Listener, if if you ever play the Sonic games, there's that level that's a casino. That's what? now Hutta. Yeah, the huts that are your super pool? gamblers. Sonic games. <laughs> Where wait, this is uh, Jeff? What's the what happens next? This <laughs> what happens next is uh, Boba Fett has a stare down with the twins, where the twins are like, "Listen, this is ours," and he's like, "I don't give a shit what you think." I and they're it. Like, like, "We got a fucking BK, bro. What are you gonna do about our we BK?" We got Black Kristanton here, and I'm, he's gonna stare you down and look menacing while the it's female the of the twins. Doves in Star Wars. Well, I just the, I just want to go ahead and say, as I learned that that BK is like a legitimate character in the thing, it didn't matter in the moment. No, when he no, walked out, and they shot the scene with all the. I just want to give credit to the 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 the, the costume staff to everybody that like made that scene to be like he walks out. They shoot the scene to show you him coming, like everything about and it's it was also, great. There's like a split it was second. Great. You see like his shoulder pad and his arm, and you're like, "Oh, that's a big guy." And then you're like, "It's a big Wookie." Oh <laughs> fuck, he's black too. <laughs> like, that so he's got like a massive. massive actually, but I don't. My arms off. <laughs> no, that, it's not. I don't mean it. I honestly didn't mean it that way. They just make every aspect of him seem more menacing than the Wookiee that I've been told this entire time is super menacing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, if 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 Chewbacca can rip someone's arms off, this guy will rip your dick in half. Like, I don't know what he will do to you, but it'll be so much worse. It'll be so much it's worse. like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Yeah, like a, the worst one. <laughs> What's the worst one, by the way? The worst Mortal Kombat fatality? Yeah. I can Ooh. show you some. Which one is it? Which, uh, top of your head. Uh, Shiva's is pretty bad in MK11. What does she do? She, like, stomps on you and then, like, stomps on your head. Uh, stomps on, she stomps on your back, and then she, like, pulls the whole head up with the spine that way. I feel like this right, says listen, more. Getting stomped on fa- by tall your women is a kink for some people. fatality says more about you than it does about the game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We found Troy's. Anyway, king. go ahead. Is the worst fatality not the one where Noob Cybot takes no. his Shadow Man and they grab each of your no, legs I think and pull you apart? Shiva's with is both grosser. I, I got it wrong, by the way. I, she, I I did it backwards. She steps on your head and then pulls the body up and the spine comes out. I did it. Oh, that first. is cooler. Yeah. I like the one where he turns you into Reek. What are you oh. <laughs> From Game of Thrones. Where he makes you his slave. I, That's the great fatality. I don't. I don't I've remember. changed your person. Okay. <laughs> you, were, you were oddly up in Troy's grill Sorry. for that. <laughs> no. Anyway. Uh, so let's this get to is, the so, Tuscan... so yeah, BK is cool. Yeah. Let's get to the Tuscan Raider stuff. Because most yeah. of this episode oh, yeah. is the flashback. You're right. Stuff. It is. Yeah, so so much after about. the uh, establishment of the Hutt's By the way, let me control. back up. I, I did notice <laughs> one thing. 
the, this ep- uh, this is the last thing I interrupt. Uh huh. Sure. This yeah, this is the uh, this episode has like ten stories in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it also does, like an it hour does it long. Really well. It is long. It's like fifty six minutes. It yeah. has. It is a lot of shit. That for, does for give one me hope for the rest of the series, though. It is mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. A lot happens. There is a train job in this episode. There is a whole backstory. There's world building. There's a whole introduction. There's, there's training that Tuscan Raiders use. K is on this speeder bikes. That's fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Speeder bikes are fucking awesome. Okay, there's a whole fucking scene montage where Boba Fett's teaching them to ride speeder bikes. It's fucking awesome and hilarious. It also, I was like. I sat down to watch it, and it was kind of late at night when I was going to start. So I was like, uh, this uh, this is a long one. And then I, it finished up, and I was just like, wait, I thought it was like an hour long. And I looked at it, I was like, oh, it was like an hour long. I'm like, it's like 11 wow. o'clock now. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, It was pretty great. So uh, after we established the Huts are trying to take control back from Boba, and Boba's like, fuck you guys, I'm here to stay, uh, they kind of leave and tell him to sleep lightly as like a veiled threat while BK stares Boba Fett down as he walks away. And then we get to the flashback stuff. And then it picks up pretty much... Uh, I, 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 some time has passed since the last flashback, for sure. Uh, Boba Fett is training with the gaffy stick that he has, like the, the wooden like toy mm. one, um, uh, with uh, the, the big badass raider guy. Uh, none of them have names, as far as I know. There's like well, the I chief. mean, they they only do do grunt hell sounds. So, well, no, they they have a communication now with Boba. Right Be- between uh, them understanding English and he can understand a little bit the, of Tuscan. The they idea, do a lot of sign language. The they idea I, I, we've talked about this before on Mandalorian. The fact that the Tuscan Raiders do sign language is maybe the coolest thing. In- it's pretty fucking dope. <laughs> yeah, um, but Boba Fett is training with the gaffy stick, and he's learned to communicate with them. And uh, suddenly, this like big ass fucking train goes speeding by and just shoots at them and Boba Fett's like immediately like his, his predator senses go off right and he mm-hmm. needs to get rid of that train he needs to protect them predators in this thank you, you, you quiet Kevin okay. Peter <laughs> Hall mm, I don't think so but I'll double check the cast list it's like you you've reset his programming <laughs> Who's Kevin Peter Hall? What, so, what else has he been in? They, Misfits of Science. <laughs> Tell oh me more about God, Misfits of the Science. Shut the fuck up, all of you. Um, no. Boba Fett tells the, the, the chief, like, I'm going to stop the train. And the chief says, you cannot stop the long speeder. You it can't stop just... the A train. <laughs> and, Boys uh, reference. Yeah, I, yep, I got it. Thank you, pal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For our, our long-time listeners. Yeah, 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 yeah. What long-time listeners? Yeah, if they're still Me. here, they're a long time listener. Um, but uh, uh, he he goes with. Uh, he says he needs a rifle and a stick, and they don't give him a new stick. He still has his fucking bitch ass mm-hmm. wooden one without a blade on it. Dick stick. But they do give him one of the uh, Raiders' long rifles, and he goes and he walks Dick and he stick. finds um, he finds a bar with a bunch of speeders out in front of it, and the speeders have that logo that was spray painted on the house in the previous episode. So it is just like random biker gang violence. There's no deeper meaning. If you find speeders Chris. at a bar, I feel like it's sexual. Uh, we got to move on. Don't, don't, don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. Yeah, we're 33 minutes. I deep. agree. I agree. Yep. So <laughs> we're only 33 minutes into the recording. Wait, five, yeah. four, three, two, one, go. What do you mean only? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Perfect, thank you. So uh, Bobo walks into the bar. He sees a bunch of alien bikers that are like harassing the locals and just being assholes. And in this awesome scene, he kicks the shit out of all of them. Hopefully, member of Hondo's crew. Sure, that's all. Sure, that's all I'll say. I don't think so. Favorite character. I think you're making that up. You should watch Clone Wars. I think this is not. He's like he's like literally the Jack Sparrow of of uh, (laughs) Star Wars. That is an amazing comparison. Am I one hundred percent correct? You are ten thousand percent correct. Hondo Onaka is Jack Sparrow. Who's Hondo Onaka? He's a character from Clone Wars of Star Wars who would be alive around here at this point in time. But why did you reference him? What's going on? He's the same species as these pirate dudes, and literally in Clone Wars, all of the pirate pirate dudes, the the guy that the the speeder bike gang, Asian guys, or no, oh. Those are those are Luke's friends, right? No, no the no, guys who are no, bullying the gang. Them, the, he stole the speeder. The bike aliens. From them. Oh, the, those, those are guys. People. Those guys look like basically all the pirates from Hondo's crew. Okay. The the guy the the, the if Hondo shows up, you'll fucking love him. I probably will. Yeah. You forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Hondo. Almost, Ooh, almost what? exactly that. I've got a jar of sand. You. <laughs> You are the people that almost caught Honda. <laughs> uh, um, I could buy him saying that. So Boba just kicks the shit out of all these bikers. He 
badassly just like grabs a drink off the bar and just takes it and he's just like ah and then he gets outside and he sees all the speeder bikes and he manages to take one and tie the others to it. Would you say he drank that back. shot like a boba? I yeah, yeah. I did like a fet. There was a solid second like where I didn't fet. I didn't see the ropes and I was just like, what's going on here? Like did he like and I I for some reason it made it cooler to me when he just tied ropes around them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. Where it was just like, yeah, came up with something (laughs) yeah he came up with something he took all of the uh the speeder bikes back to the raiders and he went to the chief and he was like this is how we're going to stop the train wouldn't it be funny if he just killed all the all the the, all the sand people (laughs) (laughs) like when he just like like that like turn Been bad. That would okay. have been a, that would have been a plot no, twist. I that would have it. made it. A, so he uh, an brings M. Night it Shyamalan back. Movie. He brings it back to do another classic <sighs> Western trope, which is the train robbery, train job slash slash uh, heist slash whatever. N- well, it's uh, is it twelve? Is it uh the, is it Seven Deadly Samurai or? It's it's uh it's the Magnificent Seven. Magnificent it's Magnificent Seven, it's seven, Mulan, seven it's... Deadly Samurai to twelve to, to seven. Ang- I, is it seven? Se- uh. uh Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven. So it's originally it's Seven Deadly Samurai to Magnificent Seven yeah. to which I, I, I always call I always call the amigos. Mulan uh, thing of church, doing the whole training montage. It's three amigos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I uh, learned it through three amigos. Yep. Boba Fett teaches the Raiders to use the speeder bikes. He teaches them to like speed up, slow down, jump from bike to bike, and it's a lot of really awesome stuff. And then the next time the train comes by, he's like, "All right, we're ready." They hop on their bikes, they go to the train, and there's this awesome scene of them raiding the train. Of course, I also, of the, I also one of the like, bikes gets blown up, and a couple uh, Tuscans die. And... I also like in that montage how many of them suck at it for <laughs> so long. Like, yeah. it, it's not just like they jump once and they miss, and then they jump a second time and they're like getting better. It's like they ju- they fall ninety five times. They they do a great job of. There's so much that actually happens. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. they have a a. Like what in other series would be an episode of them learning how to fucking do this, right. yeah. Like they do enough of it to be a a full part of the 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 the, the, the show, but it, it's breezy. It's a breezy episode mm-hmm. for yep. for. I can't believe you. I didn't it, even believe. I think it's you when longer. I think it's longer than it was all the episodes of Mando and and all longer than that combined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Some Lord of the Rings level shit. Two minutes. Like. Whew. That was the episode, folks. <laughs> and but, he uh, shoots spiders. <laughs> they're, they're attacking the train. They get on board. Uh, they There's this fucking droid at the controls who's, like, fucking with them. And he jumps out and, like, scurries away on his little spider legs or whatever. Uh, Boba takes over the train with the help of the badass Tuscan with the, the awesome gaffy dreads. stick. Who just... Who just... Is just like yeah, I'm just I'm gonna get on here by just fucking driving this. Who is the uh, who is right the, the Olympic snowboarder that from U.S. Sean White? He is the Sean White <laughs> of the Tuscan Raiders. <laughs> Do you is think that so? accurate? Is that that's what, does, that's the vibe that I'm getting? Takes from that him. speeder bike to the X Games. Like like, <laughs> he's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Kind of a joke. But also not like <laughs> also super fucking like no, what one of the Star Wars X games. I actually do think the moment Mexico that got... games. Ooh, yeah. X-Go. hard to get there. Ooh, Ooh right. There was a jump. The, the, I was trying the, to come up with any Star Wars plant that had an X. The, in it. The, you had to pick the worst movie, huh? Well, yeah, listen. It's true that. The, and like the one the, planet nobody can get to. The the uh, that's why you need stunts. The scene where he goes up. Inside the train and then pops up through the top portion. I thought this when was he turn pops sexual up too. like a fucking when gopher. he pops up like a gopher. I that is that is one of the few times because I watch a lot of these shows on my phone in the morning when I wake up for work. Right, like I'm getting ready, making coffee, doing the thing, and I was like, oh, fuck. I audibly was like, like, uh, mm-hmm. like no one is awake, yep. no one will hear my reaction. I was like, ha, ha, ha. All right. Like, I was like, yeah. I was like, it's so good. It's all the, so good. All the I was right there with you. I watched this so in my good. car this afternoon at the laundromat. I was like, eh, I got to watch the show today. So I pulled it up on my phone and I'm sitting there and I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. And I look over, there's this dude staring at me from his Cadillac. Basically, basically it, I, every I watched character- this at work in my cubicle. I had to keep myself silent from <laughs> exclaiming that was fucking cool. It was so dumb and cool. Like, I don't know why. I was yeah. just like, he pops up. He's like, you see, I mean, he did my... it for the audience. He popped up for you. <laughs> it would have been better if he like was able to like visibly wink and like finger gun through the fourth wall. Exactly. The one lens just That's like cracks and did. closes. That 
Sean White is a great actor. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, because I want to bring something up. We all say he. I always thought I thought this was a woman. This this uh, Tuscan. Tuscan. You know what? You know what? This would be the first if 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 they are revealed to be a woman, as they identify. That will be amazing because this will be the first instance where that reveal has been a reveal for me. <laughs> like I full because I know the actor is a man. I, I, oh, the I, actor I, is a man. He is, oh. but like. If they were to just be like, Shh, I'm carrot top, but not, but a woman, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I also get a carrot top vibe from this guy. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know about. I don't know if I get that. <laughs> it's the hair. I don't know. They're also just a bad comedian. <laughs> He's not very funny. <laughs> I mean, they do have I that in for, common. I I didn't know for a second. There, the only you had joke it, you made it, is you his made career. It, D made a face for a solid <laughs> second. Where I didn't know if you were like, if you were gonna be like, I totally agree, he sucks, or how dare you fucking say that about Carrot Top? I couldn't tell where it was going. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind Fuck of on the fence myself. What? <laughs> Joanna Bennett, Tuscan Warrior. Oh, Ooh. fuck yeah! Chris is right. <laughs> I'll give it to you, buddy. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, I'll wait, admit, wait, that's I, what they're saying. Uh, the 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 person who plays the Tuscan warrior is a female under oh, the costume. I I don't know if they're saying the character is gendered as to female. Be, to be fair, though, Quill was also a woman. It's true, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, the Tuscan warrior is. Uh, I don't know what that means. Quill, Quill was the um was the dude who helped Mando appear. <laughs> the He's the, 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 the I have spoken. I have spoken. Guy. Yeah, the the, the, the body By the way, actress was. You was guys haven't listened to Echoes Mandalorian album like like song that's it's i have it's, you you sent he's really good echo is a sure. nerd who raps very well cool and by nerd i mean geek cool so they and they take geek, over I the mean. train they uh they bring it to a crashing halt it stops in the sands and then uh, the Tuscans are like raiding it. They're taking all these like really awesome Wait, powerful oh, guns. The Tuscans, the Tuscans raided? raided? Yeah. Wow. Thanks for they get so both excited. of you tripped over your dicks to make that fucking joke, didn't you? Good job, both of you. Props. So actually, I tripped over his dick and he tripped over my. They dick. salvage the train and take all the shit from it. They've got high powered guns now. They find like boxes of like materials. You're and... saying that like the cycler rifles aren't already super powerful. They are super powerful, but these guns are like wicked powerful, and they're smaller, so you can carry them like more discreetly or something. I don't know. A fucking seven foot gun doesn't seem very good as far as like uh, walking around with it. It's not like a you, you just gotta anyway, put that in your belt. Take we, that with we, you to the grocery store. Moving yeah. on. Anyway. Uh, uh, so do you know who these guys are, the guys that they're uh, to steal a train from? No. Um, do you? They are- You I fucking do. nerd? I do. Um, uh, they, I, I believe at least, they don't necessarily say it, but it's all the- Pike Syndicate. Things are there. They're the Pike Syndicate? Oh, no, you're, I, that is right. I thought they were Black Sun, but no, you're right. No, they're the Pike Syndicate. I just found them. Sounds anti-Semitic. Maybe, uh, but they uh, Boba Fett takes all the uh, remaining members of the gang out of the train. He, they're all lined up, and he talks to the leader, and uh, the leader's like, are you going to kill us? And he was like, that depends on how you answer my next questions. And he was like, do you have any spice? And the leader's like, uh, what is spice? Uh, this isn't Dune. <laughs> That's literally my first thought was, I was like, fucking Dune? What? I mean, the Tuscan Raiders are kind of I mean, they're doing it on the Dune Sea. It's true. It's true. We'll, we'll get to are, the Dune Sea. There are big that. sandworms. I want to. I want to talk about the Dune Sea in a minute. We'll get to that. But uh, uh, the, speaking of dunes and sandworms, this is my transition <laughs> to what? <laughs> to I did get a very important like re realization this week that that um, uh, uh, Pete Davidson from uh, Saturday Night Live and other things is who Beetlejuice was before he died. What that? What? If how, you think about it, it, like picture them. I don't. How was oh. this a transition from <laughs> from the, the sandworms? Because he turns into a big worm at the end. Mm, no, because there's sandworms in in Beetlejuice. Oh, uh, so. Basically, back to the fucking show, <laughs> the syndicate guy tries to play dumb and say he doesn't know what spice is. What does it look like? And then one of the raiders so opens weird, a right? Yeah. It, it, one it's of the like spice. <laughs> and then one of the raiders opens a container and Boba Fett just looks at it. He's like, looks like that. And the fucking guy's like, this well, is like, you got This me. is like when you go to school and the teacher's like, did you do your homework? And you're like, what homework? 
Yeah, yeah. That I, I point homework? to my posted homework on the internet, and I say that one that you're supposed to check. Oh, yeah. I, 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 uh, that doesn't oh, sound my, very familiar. All of my computers stopped working. Yeah, and my phone. Yeah, I didn't have. Wait, internet. WW my, what? You know, guys, if you my, my dog ate my internet. Guys, <laughs> there's a there's a trick. If you go to your if Microsoft Word, you can save a blank document as like a dot raw text file, and uh, you turn that in, and uh, your teachers won't be able to open it. And then uh, you can just say it's corrupted, and then you get another day to finish your Word. Project. Word? Word. Actually, Word. fun workaround for all of you kids listening, and I know that we have plenty. Uh, we don't, actually. Uh, I, I for use, all the children listening. My dad was a cheapskate and wouldn't buy Microsoft products, so we I had Libra Office as a child. Is your daddy bad? So I constantly, I constantly ran into problems with uh, teachers not being able to open my projects because they were saved in Libra Office and not Microsoft Office. And uh, even though I wasn't trying to, I always got like an extra day or two because they couldn't figure out how to op fucking open a file. And because you're too dumb to save it as a PDF. I was too smart to save it as a PDF. I did it on purpose a couple times. Well, I mean, it's a good thing that you don't have any reformer teachers around you. So we can that your secret is safe. Perfect. So uh, basically, Boba Fett uh, tells the the guys that listen, I'm not gonna kill you, but. You can no longer just waltz through this fucking dune sea. You come through here, you owe the raiders a tax. You're gonna fuck us. You owe them a huge fucking tax, and if you ever try to hurt them again, they will kill you ten times as hard as you killed them. Period. Go tell your commander-in-chief this, and we're gonna let you live as our token of civility. I didn't and think the Pike Syndicate was a democracy. Yeah. Well, yeah, but surprises. So, uh, uh, <laughs> and they're just like, but, but how will we get there? Surprise! How, how will we get there? Boba Fett says, walk. If you go that way, you'll make it to Anchorhead by sunset. And they're just like, but. And but. they're like, no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm like, no, he fucking didn't. That's so badass. And they're just like, but we have no water. We'll die. And he's like, I will give you each one black melon. You will survive off the milk of it well, the way these people have had to. Ooh, me melon milk is my shit. That's that's a that's a drop. Much Melon better than sea cow milk. Is hot take. Shit. Just put a little marker there for later, so I can just cut that. Um, <laughs> save it for later. One, two, three, go. And uh, <laughs> uh, so Boba Fett just completely just sends them packing, uh, and the Tuscan Raiders are super happy when they get back to camp. Uh, they're sitting around a fire and they're having a discussion. And this is where we get my favorite part of the whole fucking episode. We get fucking world building for the planet of Tatooine. We've mm -hmm. been staring at this planet since 1977. We knew nothing about it aside from two suns and a shitload of sand. And now... And everybody hates it. And everybody hates it. And now we find out the Tuscans, uh, from their history of being an ancient uh, indigenous people, it used to be a great ocean that just surrounded the planet. Just where, just like where Boba is from. Yeah, boom. That's a oh oh, oh that's boom. so good. That that's is so a good. water planet. Water planet opens up the entire series with scenes from that. He is clearly mixing the two of the. In he is he is this he is yep. the Tuscan Raiders. And, he is the Tuscan Raiders, and he was in Aquaman, as we figured out earlier. He was okay. Willem Dafoe in Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You thought that was Willem Dafoe? Nope. Boba Fett, motherfucker. <laughs> mic drop. Don't don't drop the mic. It was expensive. Um, was it? But then, uh, yeah, it was actually. So then uh, uh, Boba Fett goes, the, the Tuscan chief says that he has a gift for Boba, and he gives him this lizard that crawls into his fucking nose. Yeah, and yeah. Boba Fett does pe peyote in the middle of the desert. Pretty much. He has this weird hallucination where he ends up with like a tree branch. He goes branch. on a vision quest. He goes yeah. on Lizote. Yeah. He ends up <laughs> he ends up walking through the desert with a giant branch in his hands, and uh, the raiders take it, and he gets inducted as one of their own. He gets wrapped in his own black robes with a nice little they bandolier do, belt. They do pretty good at sort of a CGI kid Boba Fett, too. Yeah, well, uh, not CGI. For those well, of you that well, they are interested, had, what 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 they do with it? Because it's not because they had some scenes that weren't in Attack of the Clones. They brought the actor back from Episode Two. That's him. For those well, of you that are interested, well, he'd be way older, wouldn't he? They have to de-age him a little bit. Uh, he had another kid. No, uh, <laughs> there might be some de-aging, but according to uh, IMDb, that's him from Episode Two. That's so the kid. I think his name is Daniel. See oh God, what if he's similar one of the, vision what? vision quests in? All of literature. <laughs> what, if, what, if called, he, what if that it is kid has a breaking of bread? What if or that a communion? What if that kid has goblin girl syndrome? 
Were there just a permanent kid? Monster yeah, Girl? So, uh, Monster Girl? The kid's Monster name, Girl. Monster Girl. So the kid's I name is... I the uh, message of that today. Hang on. The kid's know, name is Daniel sorry. Logan. He was born in 87. Fake name. Uh, he did Boba Fett in episode two, and he's credited as Boba Fett. Yeah, he's, he's the most yeah, fake-looking person can't... I've ever hmm. seen in my life. <laughs> I'm looking. He might he might be credited as uh, Boba Fett because they're using his likeness. Yeah, the can, same way can, Carrie I Fisher got credited in Star Wars that. Nine, even though she wasn't technically in it. Can you use my hateness for this? <laughs> oh my God. We're currently using your hateness on this podcast <laughs> I every know. episode, and my fakeness. I thrive on it. But uh, he goes through the ritual. He's basically a Tuscan now, and he, uh, with the help of uh, what <laughs> seems to be a Tuscan quartermaster, he takes that branch from the desert and turns it into his own gaffy. Dude, stick. you're basically a Tuscan now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a Tuscan <laughs> now. I I do I do love. Uh, uh, I had a, a a friend a friend of ours actually uh, once complained to me uh, that. They never had like a scene where like anybody ever like assembled a lightsaber on like I he's, he was like I wanted to see how a lightsaber is made, uh, and and now I it's was a million like, dollar industry. No, I was like I was like well there actually is like a deleted scene in Return of the Jedi, and he's like why the fuck is it a deleted scene? Like he was so upset. Yeah, and this was like I think that's a good reason to be upset. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a big plot point Luke, in the book where Luke is going through Obi Wan's hut and mm-hmm. builds his lightsaber from parts that he found in Obi Wan's belongings. Yeah, and have Return you of the gone Jedi through Obi Wan's hut? Return of the Jedi has a scene where he actually makes the green one right before he goes into Jabba's palace. Um, but uh, have you made the green one before going to Jabba's palace? Going, oh moving my on, God. But uh, uh, which call it? Um, uh, th- this scene is like a lengthy construction of the of this uh, uh, weapon, gaffy stick. and it is a gaffy stick. I, Are I you thought gaffy a stick lengthy and didn't construction of this weapon? I said gaffy stick like twice, dude. I know, but I don't trust you. Troy, no, you're I too scared hear. to be wrong. You should be wrong more often. That is be true. Wrong. That is true. Some people need to be wrong more. So this is an adaptation of Star Trek Into Darkness, where Predator. Boba Fett shows up and fights the Shh. Predator. Predator is in this, in Look this at episode. that. You're muted now. You can't talk any more wrong things. Wait a minute. This isn't an episode of Parks and Recreation with that Pat Oswalt? <laughs> no. But, but, the, like, no, but Kevin Patrick calls in it. It was a really, really good Yeah, I, it, so that good. was immediately what I thought of. I was just like, oh, our, 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 he, he got his wish. And it's, it's all the different detail, weapon. too. He's like cutting the individual pieces of metal that go into the spear. Mm-hmm. And he's like whittling all the little tiny bits bits in like the rounded uh, head area like it was it was little, such a, little bits it was such a really good scene of him constructing the gaffy stick and does taking he, uh, so much effort into making it his own does he lose the gaffy stick in mandalorian season two um i don't a, think so i don't think i think he still has it then where the fuck is the gaffy stick in the modern day stuff i mean he's modern got day. his guns Maybe that'll be like a big thing. He has to you resort know, to like his training with the gaffy stick to someone, beat the Chewbacca guy. Someone said BK. in a podcast I listened to that they were confused in the first episode. And, and we were talking about this uh, in our messaging, which, which was that we were a little surprised that the reviews were kind of down mm-hmm. on the first episode. They were not right? kind of down. The, the first two I found were like... like re- Putting it over and, the coals, they and, fucking and hated it. The only legitimate reason that I even heard was that it was like not its own series; that it seemed like a rehash of Mandalorian. Which I'm like, uh, same fucking helmet. Like, like I'm like, <laughs> yeah. this doesn't. What do you mean? Like, he, you see, Mando I get also what has a jetpack. And if it's shit, and if it's like, if if it's just building on the the like like popularity of season two. I, I get it, but no, this is legitimately good. Uh, like, if one of us didn't like it, I'd feel like that was the case. Like, okay, yeah. fine. Like, maybe there's something to this. No, we've been, like, on bar. Like, this is... And I think and, these are the and, two best Mandalorian-era, like, episodes I've seen. And me and Jeff literally came into this being like, we don't care about Boba Fett. Right? <laughs> yeah, and two... Uh, and now we care about Boba Fett. Ten care now. Yeah. So the the episode ends with him making his gaffy stick, and now we get to see what happens with the huts uh, in the future. That that, that dance sequence is is, is like yeah, he, it's all really it's, it's great a big world tribal building. dance scene with him mm-hmm. and all the mm-hmm. Tuscan Raiders. Even the chief gets up and uh, is joins is this in. an issue with like noobs not being cool with like 
actual no. world building. So here's the thing. Is no, this the issue? I read those bad reviews about the Book of Boba Fett. They're really upset that they made the Rancor Pit useless by having Boba escape. Shut it's up, you're dumb. Go and ahead. they're very upset that Boba Fett has any speaking at all because they liked that he was a very minimalist character. He's These the are the <laughs> dumbest things character. I've ever heard in my life. He's also so, uh, very quiet. The first, Dude, the first Tamora, paragraph. Tamor does not deserve... He is fucking going ham. The fact that I... Don't acknowledge this rando as a main character. The rando mando. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent approve. But like that, that they, that they, that I don't think at all. Like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> oh, this guy doesn't like. I don't give a shit about that. He, I love him. I love him now. Like, I don't because I think of him as. Boba Fett. This is yeah, a, he's Boba amazing Fett. now. This is another thing. It's it's a series that legitimately could just improve watch rewatching original series he stuff. Jacked yeah. the fuck out of himself to do this role. Like he is absolutely. Tomorrow Morrison that, dude, probably has the most speaking lines in all of Star Wars. It, right? How old is he now? Because he has all the fucking clones. Yeah. How uh, old? Is, yeah. Uh, fair. <laughs> How old is he now? Like he uh, he's not a not young man. A he's older than you are. It's like he what, like 60s? no like he and a. Uh, 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 What's her name? Ming Na uh, Wen. Ming Na Wen. I wanted to say that, but I didn't because I thought it was. He wrong. is sixty-one. I might have gotten the costume. She is. She is just that age as well. Like they are basically like three, two years apart. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't crazy casting. Three like, years, but yeah. I do feel like they actually look weirdly the same age. Like even though Granite, I, I guess he looks older, but like mm -hmm. I, I don't know what to say about it. Like I see this all the time in casting where they're just they don't. Do these guys and and and, and Ming Na Wen is just amazing. I we need more Ming Na Wens. I, I love I, I love how her role in this uh, in this whole show is basically just like, hey, so do you do you want me to kill him? And he's just like, no. And he's just like, all right. Tell me when you want me to kill him. <laughs> also, can Bo can one of you shed a little bit of light on this? So when the twins leave and Boba Fett is just standing there with Fennec, Fennec says they're huts. So if we want to kill them, we need permission. Uh, so, so, so the huts have like a, a big long-standing pact where you don't kill a hut unless the other huts want them dead. Otherwise, you're going to get assassinated. Okay, so why didn't Leia get assassinated? Because she was the leader of the rebellion. She's fucking Leia, bro. Mm. And there was no more movies after that for like 20 years. <laughs> yeah, years. fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I, I, I was kind of just being a smart ass to see if you had a real answer or That's not. That's fair. <laughs> Jeff, I don't know if uh, this makes sense, I but think... killing the leader of the New Republic, it's probably a bad thing. Uh, 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 I think episode eight explained that. When, okay. they, when they killed it, her. It, it didn't at all. Space didn't kill her. You think Jabba's can? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, but yeah, so so that that thank you for clearing that yep. clearing that up. The, You're so welcome. The Huts are a big crime family together, basically. They're family. Really a, they're a crime species. Yeah. Crime All right, species. cool. So I am curious to see what happens because obviously the twins are going to die, or Boba Fett is going to move on and let them have uh, Moss Espa. But I don't see either Mos of those Espa, happening. The planet, city, not the sexual maneuver. So I just quite offensive. I mm. think I know, I know where they're going because in this episode they mentioned the other tribes of Tuscans. So I think either Bo is going to unite all of Tatooine with the Tuscans, or he's going to lose Mos Espa, then come back with all the Tuscans. I think, mm. yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I think he's the doing, Tuscans are definitely involved the, late game. The addition that I think of this is that, and, and, and even if they're not, I don't the world building is fantastic. I don't, I'm going to unify these ideas. Fuck man, I think he's here because of the Tuscans. I think he is here to take on the role of D Doma? D D Daimyo. Daimyo. Da Diamo. Diamo, thank you. Is it Diamo? It's Diamo. Diamo. On Diamo. Uh, Crimson Dino. In order to give the Crimson Tuskens Ridge. voice on Tatooine. That's a really good point that I hadn't acknowledged. I think him spending all that time... That's why they're telling this story. Mm -hmm. That's got to be the reason why they're telling the story of him with the Tuskens, right? Because there's no way he's not taking power to you know, let them keep living in obscurity and having to get by by drinking melon water. There's no way he's going to let them keep doing that I after being with them. I think they're going to show you that, that in this... I, this is why I think the flashbacks aren't done at all. I think that they're going to show you through this series. The, I think this series is going to be filled with flashback to him to get to the point that says, the reason I'm doing this, the reason he went out to after Mando to get his armor back, 
and why he took so long to do it was because something happens where he was perfectly going to be content to live with the 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 Tuscan Raiders, and then he realized that he needed a grander mission, like we just saw here. I mean, maybe, I'm going to go and get you know these what? bikes. Maybe, I'm maybe he stop even thinks train. of it like a life. He's day. saying, "I'm going to stop your perpetual train." This is mm-hmm. just like fucking Sandor Clegane when he uh, spent all that time after his fight with San, uh, uh, Arya Stark. He was with the 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 fucking people chopping wood. Oh, right, right, right. Being a yeah, village yeah, yeah, man, and, the show, and then yeah, season and eight happened, yeah. and then well, we don't all talk about that the show, show stuff. All of that show stuff, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, similar to that. I'm right, very to excited that. to see what where happens. he's gonna come. Where like this, this entire everything we're seeing. Why is he becoming a crime lord? Why is he becoming this? I think it's to give the Tuscan Raiders voice. I think he is still a Tuscan Raider who is just trying to get them back into power on their home planet. I love how we've been staring at this shitball planet since 1977, and we've not learned a single thing about it until now. Oh, not Earth. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Tatooine? Yes. You're right. I have been caring about Tatooine much more than I've cared no, about Earth. Every fucking Star Wars iteration of whatever the prequels, the regular trilogy, the sequels, it's, it's the everything crux in a lot of yeah. Galactic everything strife. seems to revolve around fucking Tatooine. Do you and know why? There. Do you know why? Because it's a sand planet, and this Troy is a is Western. Ran- is it's oh, a it's a it's I was a gonna spreading. say Rando Mando in the sand though. It it is God also that. Damn it! I fucking hate all of you. Do you think well, maybe, maybe Lando Mando will show up? Rando no. Mando in the sand with no. Lando. No, <laughs> no, done. I can't though. I can't though. <laughs> Thank you all for listening to this dumpster fire of a podcast. If you hold liked on, what you on. heard, please leave us a kind hold review on, on. on your favorite I have, platform. I have actually something to say. I just want to give ma- major props to Ludwig Goranson, who's doing the soundtrack for mm-hmm. both Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. Oh, yeah, for sure. He is fucking Insane. killing it. Is this the uh, 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 Game of Thrones guy? No. Game of Thrones guy is uh, Ramin J- uh, Jawaski. Oh. Oh, so this is same sound guy, but different, uh, different guy. Okay. What is the name? Uh, what is it? Uh, Ludwig Goranson. He's the guy doing Mando and Book of Boba, Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. I got to name, I gotta name kids Ludwig, and they're going to become like, <laughs> like yeah, they're going to become geniuses, destined for greatness. Um, but this was an absolutely incredible show. I can't wait to see where this goes. I've never been more excited for a Star Wars property than I am right I, now. About it, Boba Fett, it's a yeah, banger. Robert, right? It's Robert a banger. Fett. And 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 I have to honestly say, are these like fucking hipsters that are like, oh, for oh, sure, I don't like it? Like, is that? Seriously, that's the predominant thing right now. You it's all the fans who shat. Hipster. It's all the fans who shat on Last Jedi and praised Rogue One. They're the ones that are shitting on Boca. Oh Boba my Fett. gosh, the new hipsters are just genuine. <laughs> yeah, like they just give into their 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 nerd ability. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, yep. I get it. You're um, only cool if you like things now. I gotta say, I've never ever ever been. Uh, 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 I'm not fucking. It is well documented that you have hated Boba Fett. Yes, and I have to fucking get Robert on my knees Fett. and suck John Favreau's dick for changing my mind and making me think Boba Fett might be one of the coolest guys to ever fucking walk tattoo. Mm-hmm. And then he says, "No, give me a different reason." <laughs> John Favreau has single handedly made me love Star Wars again after fucking J.J. Abrams made me fucking hate it. John Favreau made me believe that missiles can evaporate people and not do any other damage. Yeah, Iron Man, that was great. Yeah. Also this episode. <laughs> also this episode, you're true. He he does love doing that with missiles. I love it. It's great. <laughs> I'm I'm here Listen, for it. Listen, it, it's always fun when there's a when there's a vaporization. Yeah. No disintegrations this time. Yeah. Um, but thank you all for listening to this uh, Dumpster Fire of a podcast. If you like what we you heard. We should call this No Disintegrations. Please leave us a kind review on your favorite podcasting platform. Like, comment, subscribe or on YouTube. Or a really nasty one. And uh, don't Nasty do that. Disintegration. Don't do that. And uh, tell us if you think Let Lando is going to meet the Rando Mando in the Sando. Tune in next week when we cover episode three. Also, I'm going to try Thando. to talk some of these bitches into watching a couple movies that are on the radar. So look out for that. Really. Um. So that's it for today. Thank you, Troy, for being here. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, D. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your friends. I've been Jeff. Tell Please. your enemies. Tell your enemies. Make them listen to the podcast. Who are you now? Make them listen to us. You said you have been Jeff. If you hate us, make your enemies listen to us. I, I was Jeff. Now I'm Jeff Prime. He used to be Ooh. Jeff. Okay, but could you be Jeff Goldblum? If I could, I would, man, because, you know, money listen, can't buy happiness, nature, but it can buy security. Na- life finds a way. <laughs> <laughs>
I think that's the end. I th- yeah. I'm hitting the wrong lever. The raw <laughs> lever? Ah, uh, classic. Mando in the Lando with Sando.